Hi, this is Zach Muir, editor of Spreadbet magazine, with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Friday the 12th of December. We're starting off with Fitbug, where the decline from 25 pence plus back down to 7 pence was probably rather more than most fans of the stock would have appreciated. Uh, but there are a couple of positive points here. The rebound that we've had this week has been above the 50-day moving average at 6.78 pence, uh, which is normally a bullish sign. And also, uh, perhaps even more importantly, the rebound is above the floor of this gap uh, from November at 6.19 pence. And really, while we hold above the floor of the gap, uh, this is looking like a positive situation, one which could at least uh, wind back up to the initial December resistance around 16.5 pence, uh, obvious stop loss either um, end of day close back below the 50 day line or the aforementioned gap. Uh, next up is another stock which has probably fallen back rather more than many would have liked, especially from this uh, September peak at uh, 1.8 pence, which was uh, one of the possible technical targets. So that did sort of work out, but the decline uh, to down to below 0 0.6, I think the low was around uh, 0.52 uh, uh, was quite brutal. Uh, the, what, what is positive now, though, is the way that uh, there has been bullish divergence between the two lows that we had uh, to start December, and also, this is the, though there's been a, a one-day bear trap below this line from June as well, running down to 0.6 pence. So, view at the moment is that while there's no one today close back below 0.6 pence, maybe you could have a stop loss as low as the existing December low. We should see a bit of uh, upside, uh, maybe even more than we saw yesterday, where the peak was uh, just through the 200-day moving average of 0.76. Uh, if you're cautious on the situation, maybe you'd wait for a break of um, either the 50-day line, which is here at 0.85, or the 200-day uh, line, uh, depending on uh, sort of how aggressive you are. Uh, the upside here, while we remain above 0.6, is back towards uh, 1 pence or 1.05 pence, which would be the top of this June channel. Uh, finally, a stock which uh, looks like it may be rehabilitating itself after extended uh, uh, consolidation from the end of October. Uh, the good uh, the good point here, good points here rather, are that uh, for November and December we've seen higher support versus the uh, 1.07 pence October low and it's also possible to draw a wide rising trend channel uh, from July here based at the 50 day moving average of 1.15 pence. Sorry, 1.51 pence, and basically, while the 50-day line remains in place, we're looking uh, or regarding this uh, current price action as uh, being the forerunner of a uh, breakout, uh, breakout through above the 200-day moving average of 1.83, and that could lead to the top of the July channel as high as three and three-quarter pence over the next one to two months. Uh, that's it for me. More updates at SpreadBetMagazine.com.